How strong a line is this? That's an 80. 80 pound? Yeah. Okay. Like you want to make sure if you get a nice big one on that you don't drop them. And like I said, we are using the, the long one for the careful ones and the chicken rig ones for the non-careful so you have a nice spread down there. Right. One. There you go, simple as that. Okay. And then you make three three of them. And you have a really nice and sturdy chicken rig. comes on the bottom, keep that loop bigger if you have to go 24 or plus. Well, make sure you cut the right end. There you go. You got three loop chicken ring. Yeah. Ready for the hooks. Yeah. What size hook are we using? Five O's. Like you don't need to go extra small for them. You don't need to over glue it. Five O's are good. Five O's circle. You want that they stick by themselves. In between 100 and 200 foot, you have enough work to feel the bottom. Now, if you know that some of the red snappers are maybe higher of the bottom than your standard two foot, you can just extend that chicken rig. Right. Like instead of that one is given or taken 12 inches distance, you just go double 24 and you are spreading more through your water column. Often you're finding the, the red snapper are, are close to the bottom or are they staged on top of the reef? Normally they're staged a bit. Yeah. I, I have, like on, the, on our chicken rigs, I often catch the red snappers on the high one. Right. Alright. That's that's in that's the hot You just get on the top one yeah. here. Okay. And then the sinker goes there. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Great. It's a chicken. Right? 